up to 34. <clears throat> Loser. I don't believe it, I said. My own sister. Stealing from me right under my nose. We all walked back to Charlie's house. It must have been her. The bottom was the last thing I showed her. And then she acted all weird and suddenly rushed off, I said. She must have been planning it all along. She wasn't interested in the things after all. She just wanted to steal something. Charlie was silent for a moment. You'll have to get the button back. There's no other way around it. If all those things are together, then maybe they have some kind of power that... He stopped. Someone was heading straight towards us and Charlie was staring straight at them. Just keep your mouth shut, he whispered to me. It was Marcus Grundy and his little gang of numbskulls. All right, Charlie, said Marcus. What are you up to? He looked at me in a sneer, creased his top lip. All right, Marcus, said Charlie. Nothing much, just going home. Marcus stared at me. You're that loser from school, aren't you? The one who thought it was funny to shout lies about me across the playground. I smirked at him. They weren't lies, though, were they, Marcus? Would you like me to remind you what happened? He tried to stare me out for a bit, but gave up. Right, well, we've got somewhere to be, haven't we? The boys around him did a group grunt and then pointed a finger at Charlie's face. You might want to think about who you hang around with, mate, he said, and they all sloped off. Charlie put his head down and walked on. I don't know why you're mates with him, I said. He's not really your kind of friend at all. Look, just shut up, all right, said Charlie. You don't know anything about who my kind of friend is, or my life, or anything. I stumbled a bit as I tried to keep up with him. Oh yeah? Well, I do know you're a lot happier in my world. You're not trying to be someone you're not. You're not one of the cool kids, Charlie. And the sooner you realise that, the better. Charlie stopped and faced me. Look, I don't care who you are, or whether you get home, or your make-believe world, or wherever it is you crawl from, but don't start telling me how to live my life. None of your business. I couldn't believe it. I was losing him. What? I thought we were friends, I said. Charlie shook his head. Don't be stupid. I don't ever want to see you again, all right? You got that into your thick head, have you? Has it sunk in? He tapped me on the head like he was checking I had a brain. But what about my dog? I need to get bit back or Monster will be dead. You've got to help me. Charlie laughed. There is no dog. I can't believe I fell for your stupid lies. Just go away and leave me alone. I let him walk on a bit and then I caught up with him for one last try. Please, Charlie, you've got to help me get home, I pleaded. But my old friend turned his back on me and walked away. <laughs>